was surprised at the very top. Michigan's Aiden Hutchinson uh, is going number one to Jacksonville. He had 14 sacks this past year. He's been number one in this process basically since it began. Liberty's Malik Willis is the first quarterback off Mel's board to Carolina at six. Mel had previously projected him to go to Pittsburgh at number 20. And Ohio State's Garrett Wilson uh, is off the receiver board at 8 to the Falcons. He's the first receiver uh, that Mel is projecting here. One of three Big Ten receivers last year with 10 touchdowns and 1,000 yards. This is a very good and deep receiver class. You see all the names on here. Mel has seven going in the first round, 12 going in the first two rounds, which means we would average one out of about every five picks. And so I want to bring Mel and Dan Orlovsky into the conversation here and let's focus if we can uh, guys on the receivers for the moment Garrett Wilson in a very deep class that has the injured Jamison Williams and has the very tall Drake London in it is your first receiver off the board Mel why him Clean us through the process Greeny you think about the season the career and then the ability to go out and show that you are an elite speed guy at the combine and then obviously come in with Drake London coming off the <coughs> fractured ankle not running for the clock Jamison Williams with the ACL national championship game it's set up for Garrett Wilson to take advantage of that which he did at the combine running sub 4-4 and now he's the number one guy Atlanta needs receiver help uh, they would obviously love to see him still on the board at that particular point I will say this that these receivers aren't to the level of last year's group but it's a deep and talented group and I think you're going to see a ton of these receivers go in the first three or four rounds not just in the first two Dan I feel like you love them I've seen you on Twitter and, and you've mentioned it here you love this receiver group Absolutely, and I think Garrett Wilson is going to be very similar to a Devontae Adams. I've said his style, just play-wise, is like Julio Jones, uh, but probably body makeup-wise reminds people of a Devontae Adams. The way that he wins in short spaces is remarkable. I don't think that if you give him freedom and route running, there's going to be many opportunities for him or many challenges for him to win in the NFL in one-on-one -on -one coverage unless he's seeing those elite corners. He's phenomenal in short space quickness. His ball controller, his body control is remarkable. But the whole group, Greeny, I think the two kids from Ohio State are going to be awesome. Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave. Drake London, the more I watch Drake London, I kind of called him Keyshawn Johnson in the past. He reminds me of DeAndre Hopkins, Mel. Just you don't see a ton of separation, but you also don't see the ball hit the ground ever when they throw his way. Traylon Burks is like a bigger Debo Samuel, the young man from Arkansas. Jamison Williams is Deshaun Jackson. Um, Christian Watson is fascinating to me because he chews up so much grass. So I just think the group as a whole, John Dotson's so good. So I, as a group, I, I think they're phenomenal. Mel, as I look down this screen here, you have Christian Watson uh, going to, uh, he's from North Dakota State. You have him going to Green Bay. Uh, the Packers, and we just mentioned the name Devontae Adams. I mean, they desperately need a receiver here. Uh, is that enough for them, or could you see them packaging the two picks they have, maybe moving up and trying to get one of the top one or two guys in this class? They could agree. They haven't taken a receiver for Aaron Rodgers yet. Watson, maybe it was a uniform. North Dakota State, the bison, what he did. I scouted his father when he came out of Howard back in 1993. Sixth round pick of the Packers. Christian Watson has the length, the athleticism, the running skills after the catch, even on reverses. Uh, he will be a dynamic player. And I gave him Alec Pierce from Cincinnati in round two, who mm. his comp mm. is Jordy Nelson. So if you can get Alec Pierce with his size and length, he ran great. He tested off the charts athletically and get a guy like Christian Watson. Now you got the big athletic targets to really help out Aaron Rodgers. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.